I've been the most active between my blog and then promoting my blog through Twitter. So in terms of what I plan on giving away once I hit my 500th follower uh, on Twitter is four things. And I thought about just sending out random stuff, but since my you know goal is to share things with me that are meaningful to me that I either want other people to read or you know things that I think have some kind of long-standing impact. But in terms of my giveaway for when I hit 500 followers on Twitter, uh, I've got four things planned that are meaningful to me that I want to share to other people. So the first uh, I teased a little bit in the last burrito live stream last Saturday, and it's the trade of We Can Never Go Home uh, from Black Mass Studios. And I think this means, this book means a lot to me uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, as someone who teaches high school, I deal a lot with like the conflicted teen angst and coming of age elements of, of who those young people are becoming in their lives. And I feel that connection to this book. And if you've not read it, you've got, you know, people who are coming into learning their powers very quickly and then dealing with the repercussions of their actions very, very quickly. And it does not end well for them. The second reason that I want to give this book away uh, is that I'm a big fan of, of independent publishers. And one of the ones that is just consistently put out work that I've massively consumed during the quarantine uh, and the lack of distribution was Black Mass Studios that I think I've picked up maybe 15 different titles from them and I've not been disappointed uh, in, in any of them. And it's, it's something that like, this is a book that I think a lot of folks should read. And then the last one, uh, I like that the comments or the, the not the comments, the credits are kind of written on this mixtape. The mixtape is something that plays into the story. And one of the things that I've talked about a lot is kind of my connection to music when I read. So that's why I think, you know, this is a book that means something to me. The second one is something that came out this week, the Support Our Shops book that came out from Aftershock. Uh, you can see that I've got two copies of this because if I lean way over, there's one behind me. Uh, my comic book shop has been something that has meant so much to me and I've been only shopping there for about a year that it's my therapy, it's my church, it's my cheers, uh, it's, my ability to be able to um, kind of get, you know, myself immersed in something or as, you know, the Lost in Comics voice would say, it gives me that ability to get lost. And during the quarantine period, right, uh, not being able to physically interact with people, not being able to teach kids in person and only have to deal with a couple of kids who would optionally show up into uh, the, the thought that comics or my shop could be something that could crumble, right? I don't think comics would go away, but I think the economic impact on my shop is something that could terrify me, right? The idea that a you know you had some publishers who would give the like 50% or less of their proceeds would go to your LCS, which is something that I think is beautiful and I've talked about at length, uh, but the lineup of talent on this Aftershock book, I think is amazing. And for Aftershock to look at their stores and say, we're going to give you something. You can decide if you're gonna give this book away. You can sell this book at whatever price you want. You can do whatever you want to uh, with your, your consumers, your, your you know, uh, clients of this book, I think is something that speaks volumes. And I love the book because it's a love letter to comics as a medium, to shops as that, you know, source of refuge for everyone. Uh, but it's also a love letter to the fans. And I think watching all of this connection uh, together, you know, I think it's a beautiful thing. Item three of four in the giveaway is 
Little Bird issues one through five. These are all first printings of an image comic that came out last year. Uh, and the reason that makes the list is for an ironic reason. Uh, as I talked earlier about enjoying what Bruce and Stephanie do on, on their channel in terms of, you know, the video content they put out or the um, uh, comics and beer they do on Fridays. Last month, they did a Little Bird themed getaway or giveaway. And I am by no means giving away the copies of their copies of Little Bird. Uh, but because I enjoyed their recommendations, uh, and I have kind of bought into the things that they talk about so much, I went out and eBayed and bought a full run of first print Little Birds for something like 10 bucks, maybe. Uh, and really, really enjoyed the story. And then quite ironically, on that Little Bird themed giveaway show, uh, Bearded Comic Bro, who is their trivia champ, won their biggest giveaway of the night, which was a bunch of signed uh, issues or issues that were signed by Darcy Von Polgis. And I answered the next trivia question correctly and won a set of Little Bird number ones from them. So it's, it's a beautiful story. It's an image comic. And I really, really, really love what Image is putting out. This is, again, something that I think it's a good story. It's something that's meant something to me because it's been, aside from the Burrito Boys talking about Source Point Press, one of the, the stories that someone's recommended that really had an impact on me in terms of the way I read comics or look at things. So it becomes, you know, something else that I kind of want to share with the world. The fourth item is the secret. It is a signed book, and it is one of my favorite Marvel characters. And I will give you a bonus entry into the 500 subs giveaway if you can guess not what the book is, but who the character is. And I will give you a hint. It is not the Submariner. But it's one of my other favorite characters. You've seen me talk about this individual a lot in terms of different runs throughout different points in history. They've showed up in, in different mystery boxes that I've picked up. Uh, no, the answer to Burrito's question, this is for 500 on Twitter. So those those four things. So if you follow me on Twitter, at CB Poser, uh, once I hit 500, it'll be the We Can Never Go Home trade, save our stores from Aftershock, first printings of Little Bird one through five, and then a mystery signed book that I will reveal on the night that I give that. Thank you for stopping by. And as always, have a good one.